Ooh. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am returning with the rule of five slash how to style slash how to maximize your wardrobe series. It's technically the rule of five, but most people don't know what the rule of five is because it is a shopping rule that I made up a few years ago. Uh, I was on a super tight budget and I just needed to make strategic purchases and I needed to make the most out of what I had. So that's how the rule of five came about. I'm going to leave a full description and full details in the description box because it is so long and lengthy if you want to get into the details. And then there's actually more on my website, which you can find below as well. So today what we're styling is this uh, sweatsuit. It's from the Who, What, Where collection at Target. The top was 27, the pants were 30, under 60. It was like 60 with taxes, with taxes, with tax. Yeah, with tax. Um, I love a sweatsuit. I, I love a set and I love a sweatsuit and a sweatsuit is a set and hello. So <laughs> I, if I love a sweatsuit, I feel like other people love a sweatsuit and they need to justify spending money on a sweatsuit. And I'm, I'm here to do that for you. I, we are justifying your sweatsuit purchase right now today. You are welcome. Um, usually the rule of five is five ways to style an item. However, when you have something like a sweatsuit, um, I'm able to style the sweatsuit a few different ways. We're going to separate it. We're going to wear style the top with different bottoms and the bottoms with a couple of different tops just to give you a variety uh, so you can see the value of a sweatsuit. <laughs> Am I the only person that sells sweatsuits like that? I think everyone should have a whole arsenal of sweatsuits. <laughs> Anywho, so if you're interested, or not if you're interested. Anywho, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Trying to keep the intro super short. I suck at intros. I'm going to do better and write more notes and I'm going to study other people, other YouTubers, because I suck. <laughs> All right, let's get started. Bye. So our first look, <laughs> our first look with the um, sweatsuit is just how most people would wear it, which would be with sneakers. Wear the set together, throw on some sneakers. I have some velvet tree torns, so it's very like seasonal. <laughs> it's very seasonal. I, I actually just threw this on to run a Starbucks and Target. Perfect, like we can wear. I dressed it up with the sassy sneakers and then with my accessories, um, just some basic hoops and the two inch Lauren monogram from my shop, shopjewelrymarie.com. And that's just a simple, easy way to throw on your sweatsuit. She's cute. Obsessed. Let me turn the music off for YouTube flags me. So for our second look, super easy change. We switched the shoes out. So I have some, um, you know, Gucci inspired slide ons. We of course have our sweatsuit and this is a hat. I'm, almost, I'm like dang near target down, target downed. Um, so I have a Baker boy hat on from target $12. And then I threw over my fave thrifted um, overcoat. I'll put my hands through so you guys can get a vibe as well. And then we are still wearing the two inch Lauren monogram from my shop, shopdelumery.com. Um, I'm gonna link everything below, including the monogram, so you should get that. And this is just like, oh my gosh, like do I not look like I'm running to Target, but I'm a bad bitch. Like I'm a bad bitch, I have my shit together. You cannot mess with me, hello. <laughs> I'm just obsessed, like this coat and then a hat, it just changes the game. Accessories do so much for you. Let me put my hands through, actually I can probably do it while I'm recording, just to give you guys a full effect. Uh oh, I'm trying, I have to work on my steadiness with my hands. There we go. It's just like really easy. I look like I have my shit together, don't I? Yes, queen, yes. Um, there's also um, a rule of five coming, or maybe it's already come. I don't know by the time I post this, but wait a second. Wait a second. I just realized, did y'all, do you see, I see that? That's all right. We're not closing it anyways, but I'm going to do um, a few ways to style wear an overcoat that are unexpected, like over a sweatsuit. Yay. All right. So we just did a change of accessories again. I have a gold metallic heel on. We have a leopard clutch and a newsboy cap, which is back on trend. This one is actually ten, uh, like, dang, almost 10 years, this hat. Let me specify. 
The hat is about 10 years old. I picked it up in the men's department at Target. Um, I would probably, if I were doing a girls' night out, I would either just do my hair straight like it is without the hat or a really big bun and then heels. Did I say whatever, date night, girls' night out? But it kind of gives you like, you don't want to wear real clothes, but you look like you have your shit together because there's some shape to your top, to your pants, and then boom, a heel. Um, and then again, two inch alarm monogram from shopjulimarie.com. Just a quick and easy. I kind of want to be on the sofa, but I told him I'd go. So here I am. Very city chic. So this is how to style a sweat suit, but the part, of, or not the part, but the benefit of buying a set of anything, whether it's a sweater set, a sweatsuit set, is that you can wear it as separates. So I could easily show you 10 different ways to style a sweatsuit with just accessories, but I wanted to show you how to style it with separates as well. And so here again, I just have some um, distressed denim, uh, Gucci inspired slides and then the Baker boy hat so it's just like super easy and casual really the key is your accessories like key to styling is accessories hands down if you build a um, a capsule wardrobe off of basics and neutrals you can really just make shit happen with a $12 hat so this would be I think we're on our fourth look and I'm still wearing the two-inch alarm monogram from Shop Julie Marie. I should switch it up, but I'm trying to knock out literally four how to style videos today. So here we are. I do love this shirt. It's so dope. I haven't tried it on separately. This is the first time I've tried it on as a separate, and I'm way into it. Way. It's like the lighting is changing. Sorry, guys. Um, so another way, I don't know if I love the colorway of the top and then this bright ass skirt, but you get the idea. Um, just wear it with a skirt. You can do a little shorter, a little longer, maybe even a bodycon like midi skirt would be cute. And something you could wear to work. And then that way you're dressing up your sweatshirt. Most people won't even catch on that it's a sweatshirt because of the um because of the cut of the sleeves and the puffiness of the, the shoulders. Hello. <laughs> I believe this is look six. Um, we've switched to just the pants, satin piping. And I've paired, these are like a burgundy maroon, so I paired it with a blush sweater and then a blush velvet hat. Both of these are from last year. And then kept it cute with, um, try to get you a little closer. And then just kept it cute with the faux, uh, with my Gucci slides, my fake Gucci slides. And this is just kind of, you're super casual and relaxed, but the velvet of the hat and then the plush sweater and then the slides kind of like dress it up to where, you know, this is a dressed up sweat set, sweat suit situation. There you go. 